One, two, three, four. song the grandfather's clock we're going to work on adapting a great old melody to the banjo and this song is great because we get to use some harmonic chimes we're going to try and imitate a kind of a clock and if you haven't done that before this is a great song to start working on your harmonics i'm going to break the whole song down and then show you a bunch of stuff you can do on the backup so here we go here's the grandfather's clock all right so here's the first two measures to grandfather's clock let me play it and then i'll break it down more times. Okay, so we're going to start on a pickup on beat three, and we're going to hit two open fourth strings, both quarter notes. So the best way to do this is to count one, two, and then we're going to play on beat three and beat four. So just two quarter notes. I'm using my thumb with my right hand twice. I'm going one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to do an alternating thumb roll for measure two. I'm going to start with a two to five slide on the fourth string. So I'm doing thumb and index with my right hand, fourth string, and then third string. And I'm sliding up at the same time. So I'm sliding from two to five. It's eighth notes. One and. Don't slide too quick. Let that first um, note you know, get a little bit of value off that first note so you get a, sli a good slide. So we do thumb index, and then we're going to hit fifth string with our thumb, and then first string with our middle finger of our right hand. So it's our alternating thumb roll, so if we did just the right hand, we're doing four, three, five, one. Four, three, five, one. All we're doing is then adding a slide, so don't let the slide throw your right hand off. Kind of a generic good uh, slide with an alternating thumb roll. Okay, next four notes. We're gonna then I'm gonna bring my third finger down to my left hand. You can also use your second finger, but I, I like using my third finger. You're gonna slide down to the fourth fret of the fourth string, and we're gonna do a forward roll. Fourth, fourth string, third string, first string. So T I M. So fourth string, third string, and first string. And the other strings are open besides the fourth, uh, fourth fret on the fourth string. And then we're going to hit the open fifth string because we need one more note. So that's our three and four and. So the whole measure two sounds like this. One and two and three and four and. And our melody there is, without the slides and, and the fancy stuff, is just open third string, fourth fret on the fourth string, and then back to the open third string. So it's... So we're just adding a roll around that. So one more time, here's the melody. Open third string, fourth fret on the fourth string, and then open third string again. Basically just walking around that G note. G, F sharp, and then back to G. So we're just adding a roll. So here's measure three. We're going to start with a pinch. Let me play it and then I'll break it down. One more time. Okay, so we're going into a D chord for measure three. I'm starting with my second fret down on the third string. I'm going to do a pinch with my index and middle finger of my right hands. And I'm doing the third string and the first string. Kind of pinching on a D chord there. 
The reason I'm using my index and middle finger is because the previous note at the end of measure two was our thumb. So we're, we're doing a forward roll and then into that pinch. That's why we gotta use our index and middle finger there. So we're doing a quarter note there. And then we're gonna hit the fifth string and open first string. Those are eighth notes, two and. And then we're gonna hit open third string and then second fret on the third string. And I'm using my thumb of my right hand twice in a row there. So measure three on its own sounds like this. One, two, and three, four. This, is, this song's really good for practice on, play, you know, especially if you're a beginner, playing kind of melody notes outside of the chord, you know. The, the G note is not in our D chord, but we're playing it as a melody note over that part. And same with the, the fourth fret on the fourth string. That's not in our G chord, like it, we're in measure two, we're playing over a G chord. So we're actually getting some notes that are within our scale, but not necessarily within our chord. And that just allows us to make a more advanced melody. If you're only using notes from your chords, you, you can make a melody of it, but it's going to be a, a, a simpler melody. And those are good for beginners, but the next step is kind of getting some notes outside of the chord. And this is a great song to practice that. So, so check out measure three again. You know, we're on a D chord, but we're not just rolling over a D chord. We're playing actually uh, playing a melody. So we're going... And the melody there is second fret open third string, and then second fret again. So the melody of the first two, two measures, is, or three, uh, three measures is. So you should hear that in the roll one more time. So listen to how I put that in the roll now. Measure four, we're gonna do a two to four slide on the third string. So I'm doing a forward roll, three, two, one. Those are my strings, third string, second string, and then first string. And I'm sliding up two to four on an eighth note slide. So I'm going one and two, and then we hit the fifth string, we need one more note, open fifth string. And then we're gonna do two pinches. I'm gonna use the index and middle finger of my right hand, and we're gonna do first fret on the second string and open first string and then we're going to pinch open and open second string and first string so measure four sounds like this so you start with eighth notes one and two and and then we do quarter notes three four this is a good song to work on your timing too make sure you give those quarter notes plenty of time one and two Measure three and four on their own sound like this. And the melody for, for measure four is open second string, first fret on the second string, open second string. We're just sliding into that first note. And then we're just doing pinches. You know, the melody is on the second string, so if you don't like those pinches or you're having trouble with them, you can take it out. One more time.